Glaston. The sky is torn to angry shreds and the storm winds lash the shore. The moon has hid her timid face and all around her spirits race and rail and rip and roar. The roof will hold, my father said, but you must secure the door. Life is hard for the fishermen and catches must be sold, for we must eat or we will die. And so it was, he waved goodbye and strode into the cold. Let no one in, his parting words, as he saw the gale unfold. Tis a full five hours since he left here for Douglas before noon. I won't delay at all, he said. I see those fearsome clouds ahead and I'll return quite soon. Yes, I'll be back, you needn't fear, before the rising moon. But he is not here, and a sneaking gust blows my candle to the floor. But I'm afraid, for come he will, the flame in the hearth will flicker still, and I'll hear him call once more. I am home, quite safe and sound, and his hand upon the door. The shriek and howls of wild things are hurtling through the sky. The seabirds call an angry song and wisps of things that don't belong are helplessly flung by. May he have found a sheltered place to rest this night, I cry. There is no rest for me, I thought, but I could not keep my thoughts from trouble tending. Though my eyelids were descending to the depths of drifting sleep, for each day's work is tedious long and the cliff path is so steep. A sudden silence broke my sleep. Had the storm now passed away, the wind no longer howled and raced, the air gave off a sulphur taste, the waves damped down their spray. Then something pressed against the door and the bar was heaved away. Father, at last, I would have gasped, but a man came striding in, tall as the sky and sure and straight, his blackish curls dripped with the weight of tide upon burnished skin. His body, cloaked in darkish rags, was lithe and proud and thin. To the meagre fire, I bade him come, though not a word he said. He seemed to understand and came reluctantly towards the flame and I offered him some bread. Then he tossed his mane of bright black curls and I saw his eyes of red. What creature of the sea was this brought in upon a wave? For have I not heard my father say of those who bind you tight to them and take you as a slave, then leave your bones stripped clean and white alone in a fisher's grave? Not a single word I said of this, but I made to build the fire as if to warm a traveller man who travelled since the day began, and I made a winsome liar. While well, I prayed and prayed for the dawn to come and the sun to rise up higher. When loud at last the cock did crow, he knew he'd be misled. He bared his teeth and his long black mane was tossed behind in cold disdain. I feared I'd soon be dead. But he stamped on the floor and made for the door, leaving hoof marks in his stead. Out to the sea went the black-haired man, for from the sea he came. But as he left and the warm sun rose, he stared at me, and my heart froze, for he had made his claim. And I knew that if my life was mine, it was but a fragile flame. He will return one night, I know. When the storm winds whirl about, no door too strong for him once spurned. No words or charms that I have learned, no pious scream or shout. In weather wild and wet like this, we'll keep the Glaston out.